Hello, I'm doing a quick, well, quick-ish tutorial, well it's going to be quick actually, tutorial on how to make like a simple, simple outro, normally like the ones I would normally do on my videos, you don't really need it, it's really quick to do but you don't really need these big fancy 3D thanks for watching, hit subscribe big outros, where it's like 3D exploding names and stuff like that, who needs that? time wasted and crap like that. We can make a quick simple outro for different for every single video because it's so quick. I've already got all the stuff I need open at the bottom. Just three things. That's a video end software I'm going to use for this video but them too as well you can use them too and as well as After Effects, Sony, Premiere Pro I think, no not Premiere Pro, Sony and um, Adobe Premiere Pro, something like that it's called. Um, another Adobe video and editing software you can use. There's loads of other software you can use to do it, but I'm gonna carry on. You probably have to make that the thingy first. Well you will have to make the thingy first and get the size I normally do them at is um I've got another screen, the normal size it's one, zero, eight. It's huge in other words. And then six one zero zero. And then the resolution one thousand and then this should fit the size of a um a YouTube video. Like sixty minus nine aspect ratio. But normally you would like go in the video that you recorded and take like a print screen out of the video how I would normally do it. Unless you just want a plain colour background or something like that patterned one. But I normally put games in the background mindset. I'm I'm gonna just take a picture from the internet of today. Just make it symbols. DMC then we cry, yes. It came out a day I think it was, so why not use this? Oop. Oh, Alright, it's lagging. The good thing is about is you can save this as like a template, so all you have to do is like change the background and you've got the video um like wait I have actually minimize this. We don't know what I'm talking about when I say like my intro outros I've got one here. They normally look a lot like this. And there's like a video playing and put a annotation of the white and click and it'll take it a link. And then there's next and back buttons you can put as well. That one wasn't the best made outro I've got, but it was a, the only one I could find at the time uh, when I was looking at my PC. But it's preset like effects here, and it, it might start on this one if you click on layer styles and here, and you'll get all the effects up. And halfway down there's a that which I make the uh, borders look like that. Just a uh, you might not want that, but that's what I use just in case you were wondering. Then normally I would blur out the background with this one. Just to make the, the foreground stuff stand out a little bit more. And the bit where you you would put your video in, where like your video would start to play, if you put on this, when you click on the selector thing, put this on fixed aspect ratio and put it at 16 by 9, because that's the aspect ratio of a YouTube video, as you can tell it's like the same size. And then I'm not going to make that big, I'm going to resize it, oops, yeah. But, oh yeah, another thing, wait, when I've finished. It's very slow Photoshop, so. I'm always doing it in layers, so if you can see my mouse, it's down here. But if you do things in layers, you can move things around, resize them without, because if you put them in the same layer, it's gonna, like, remove the other layer. If I paint over it white, it's gonna paint over that down here white, and this is just another layer over down here white, so I can unselect it and then resize this and stuff like that. But I'm gonna put it here, actually, for a bit of a change. And then, you can put like text in. I normally use this one for just because you can edit and stuff. I'm going to put hi YouTube. And then you can make it look all fancy with these effects over here, but I'm just going to do this quickly as like a quick little tutorial thing. Now I'm going to leave the rest playing and you can save this as a 
a PDF, I think it is. And then you can just have like a template and just change the background or like hide the background and put another one in then you still got your little template thing. But I'm gonna put a little outline effect on this video thing so I can for no reason just to make it look nice like really make it look pretty. This oop duplicate that. Okay, oh did I not click duplicate? I must not Right, there we go. What? Oh, right, I'm duplicating the wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> if you right click, it's just a little tip of Photoshop and then simplify, and then you can then edit the colors and like the effects. I'm going to put it as white to match that. And then that's just going to be my simple. I, I normally do a bit more detailed in this, but I don't have to do this every single video because I've got like I've already got my one called Hi YouTube. I'm gonna call Hi You Boob ha <laughs> You Boob ha <laughs> Oh saved it as a PDS. Hi You Two You Boob I'm gonna call it you boob again because you're a boob, not really. Oh, well, there's the first one I did because I tried actually recording this before, but I thought because I opened all my softwares while I was recording, which stopped the recording and the software I'm using. This normally takes like forever to save, and the, the files weigh like loads. TikTok, TikTok. I'll I'll talk about stuff. Well, this is um people who also use this type of thing. Like I searched YouTube for how to make outros. Like before I started making outros on YouTube and stuff, but all I could find was like big fancy 3D text things. And I was oh no no not doing that. And then download this software. It's only it, for free, but then it's like a 30 day trial, and then you have to pay like 200 pounds or something for it. So, big waste of time. Oh, yeah, there's another software, but like an alternative to this one, which is completely free, so you can make outros for free. Yes, I think. Actually, I don't know the video editing software. Paint.net. The website's not called Paint.net, it's called GetPaint.net. I'll put the link in the description so you can download it. It's like a free version, free and simpler version of Photoshop. It's not as like complex, but you can still make like this type of thing, and you can still layer, and then save it as that them um, like paint on that file, so it's like a template, and you can open it and change the background like I was talking about before, and so it like matches whatever game you're playing, and uh, you can put directional arrows like I have, and if it's like this is part one of whatever you're playing Devil May Cry for example, or something like this, and this is part one of the video. And then you could take out that arrow and then leave that one in like by hiding it on the layers. So when you save it, a hidden layer, it won't save visible, it'll save hidden, so you don't have to delete it. You can just hide it. And then the next part you can unhide it and then if it's the last part then hide that one. And then when you save it like that, it's still the layer still there, but it's hidden in the image that you've saved. I normally save as PNG as well, but you can save as JPEG or whatever format oop not close that might need it. Whatever format. And then what you use uh, the video and software that you would of your choice. I'm gonna use this one for because I don't know, I'm used to using this one. It has an audio problem, so I don't use audio in this. Just when I'm actually doing like the I'm gonna open like the video one is my outro thing and the thing I just did, you boo hello. And then let them load in. For this software, the Skyrim the Skyrim video I've got is like to be the, the outro also checkout type thing. You drag and drop them by the way. And then oh wait. Resolution. I normally have mine as that. I'm not sure how you actually do it. Custom size. Can't remember. Oh that that one I don't know actually. But most recent I've already used it. Oh there you can resize there. And then put it as like a 
one of the aspect ratios of um, a YouTube video, which is 16 by 9. So if you put in there 16 by 9, like width is 16 and 9 there, then keep aspect ratio. I'll show you what I mean. Put 16 in here, then fill 9 in there, then click, check that box, and then resize it uh, like, I don't know what size I had it, I forgot. 1920 maybe? I think that's what I have is, and then it'll resize that one as well, and then OK. And then I normally have it as exactly 50 seconds. If you click click and hold that, it'll appear with the time and duration, if you can see it there. Duration, and then I can put it exactly 15 seconds. Got it. And then put the Skyrim video. For different softwares, there's different ways of taking that sound, but in this one, you click that and then drag the green line down to zero, and then the, soft, the sound's completely gone. And then drag this to match that. Put a translation in for it to fade out. You can do this in the like edit when you edit in your video. Say you use music, Windows Movie Maker, the like I use. Um, yeah, there's effects in that way. You can make it fade out. You can use that way, or you can use in this this software way. And then you match that up to the lines of that. You can use your arrow keys to move it around like by pixel, which is really helpful. But if you record it in the right aspect ratio or resolution, then you can it'll fit the box exactly because it's the YouTube aspect ratio. So this will be full screen on YouTube, no black lines around the sides or anything like that. Oh, I kind of get that perfect because it's like one pixel too large around the sides, and yeah, I'll not be getting that perfect. And then when you've done that, it's for this software. It's produce and share for some. It's render or whatever it's called and I have like a preset effect but on my normal I normally use like that that resolution that you can just check these out in case you want to use it. Yeah and then they're the ones I use basically. Now I'm gonna use my normal one. And then next and then save it as you boob boobic outro. You boobic outro. And I don't want it saving YouTube. I'm not partnership with Machinima by the way, I just like to remake logos. I just enjoy it. I like to do loads of pointless stuff as you can tell. Minecraft skins. Pixel art. <laughs> I never use it either. Well I do sometimes in the outros. Now when you you render this, it'll save in your movies, but in a folder, and then in in that folder will be the video file, and this shouldn't take long. Yeah, two to four. But then I think this soft the, the for editing the video, making the like layers and stuff. I don't, I'm not sure if there's any three one free ones, which is kind of uh, there's wax, but I'm not sure if that you can layer that. If you can, it's very complicated. I haven't figured that out. Wax 2.0, it's called or something like that. Video editing software. That's free. You might be able to layer in that if you're like good with it. But then, like, as the, the outro song, either find a make a song if you're a musician, or find, make sure that if you're gonna put a theme song, make sure it's not copyrighted. There's a tip for you. And or if you're gonna find just a song, just find non-copyrighted songs. Search like non-copyrighted, then the category like metal, non-copyrighted metal songs, or non-copyrighted rock. And then there's actually a lot of Evanescence that it's not copyrighted. Evanescence is so good, but you might not be a fan of them. Or like non-copyrighted dubstep or drum and bass or something. And then there'll be results. There's a lot of channels for non-copyrighted dubstep. Which is where I, I get some things from. Like YouTube channels. And then they'll, like, say, you can download from this site, copyright free, and so that. There's the video. And then there's, like, a video playing up there. No sound. You wanna put this right up. No sound. For the finish. And then open it in Windows Movie Maker. It's, like, the final step. And then I'm, I'm at other desktop now. I'm gonna put like a I don't know a uh, quest viewer. What's quest viewer? Oh, it's audio surf. I'm gonna put an audio surf video for that's like oh, I'm gonna break copyright here. I'm gonna have to take the audio off. 
but this is just a test. I'm not actually going to render this video. Um, why isn't videos linked on the taskbar? And then there's the the ububic thing. I'm just gonna drag and drop that in. Ububic. Wow. And then for music. This is part where I'm saying using a non-copyrighted song. Uh, his song is going to be copyrighted, but it's so worth it. It's so appropriate as well because of the background image. I'm going to do it anyway. And put it exactly on that line and start in time on 55 seconds, maybe. And then once that's. Like, ah, oh, screw it, I'll put the sound on. No, it's. The, 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 yeah, I'll put it on. When this movie makes it's very laggy when you play it by the way. Just there's a warning. And then the outro will start. And then fade out as well. If you can hear us. Put a fade out in so it's And then that's how we normally do it, and then I normally save it up, save it as that, but I'm not going to. Now, oh, and then when you, it might be like a box size, so I think it's project, and then you click that, 16 by 9, which is what it is on YouTube. Don't use that, because it's like a, it's got like black lines above it, and it's not full screen when it's on YouTube. It comes out like a tiny box on YouTube in the middle of the screen, so you use that. Just another little tip there. And then after you've rendered that, I think that's it, really. I don't think I've missed anything. Now remember to put the download link in for the paint on it. It's on, like, I think it's on Mac and Linux and everything. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if it helped. And favourite if it helped as well. If I'm a big help. I don't know if I mentioned this, but other people like PewDiePie and YouTube, uh, PewDiePie and YouTube, PewDiePie and Yogscast uses these type of basic outros, which are not big 3D fancy, thanks for watching type things. Yeah. But thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.